What is up everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to another React video, advanced React video in which we're gonna take a look at how to use use effect hook and how it works under the hood, basically the advanced side of this particular hook. So to begin with React 16.8 and above brings us the support of hooks in React which we already know, right? You could use use state hook so we can have a simple counter and set counter <clears throat> which is just a getter and setter for this particular value and now i can just access this counter like this and i can modify this uh by calling something like on click and i could say that i want to have this counter incremented by one whenever i click it right so if i go to my page now and if i click on this p tag we could see that our counter now increments whenever i click on this right now where does use effect come in place now now use effect allows you to have some sort of side effects that is some sort of function which you can call upon changing a particular value by that what i mean is that you could go ahead and say use effect and this function would be called whenever this particular component re-renders now in react when you're using functional components with uh, hooks, what happens is you can see that you're always making use of const, right? Const counters and uh, your state is const. That means React is under the hood, not modifying the state at all. So what, what you see here is that on the first run, on the first run of this particular component, what happens is you state zero would return zero right now uh i clicked p tag right then second one that is this component is again re-rendered by react and this time u state returns one right why because internally react set the state to c plus one that is zero plus one which would be one right then if i click click p tag again then on the third run we would be able to see that u state of zero returns us two so in effect what's happening is the counter always is a constant right what happens is this whole particular function when react re-renders this this particular function returns a new value Similarly, with use effect, what happens is it's not that uh, React calls this particular app dot use effect again and again. It's that use effect calls this particular function on every render. So what I could do is I could just go ahead and say document dot title is uh, counter counter is that, and I could say counter, and I could just move this up a little bit so that it's easier for you to see. Right, so now if I go ahead and see here, you could see that in the title bar, we could see that it's synchronized now, right? So, what the deal here is, is that use effect, first of all, is always called after your component is mounted, right? First of all. Secondly, if you use it like this, use effect would always call this function no matter what. That means on every re render. So if we have, let's say another state variable, let's say counter two and set counter two. Let's say, uh, I don't know, I just, I could just throw in a console log here. This effect was called. And let's say I have a set interval here, which just set counter two to math.random, right? So we just set a random value to counter to so that we are actually re-rendering this component and when I save this what we would see is that we call this effect every second right even though we don't need to because counter is not changing so how do we fix that well we could tell use effect when and when not to run this function because you know react is going to run this function this react is going to re-render this component anyway because one of the state variable of that component changed but when react <coughs> re-renders this component after it mounts the new ui updated version of the component 
what React does is tells use effect to run this function. But we could say to use effect that, hey, I want you to run this function only if the following dependencies are changed. And in our case, it's just counter, right? So if counter is changed, I want to run this function and hit save. Now, if we take a look, we're going to see that this effect was called only once. And the reason for that is because, as I told you, use effect runs after your component is mounted or is rendered, right? So on the first mount, use effect would run after your component is rendered. And that is it, right? And we could actually see uh, we still have this interval in place. And I could just console log this interval is running so that you could see that nothing fishy is going on going behind the scenes. So you could see that this interval is running, but you could see that we have uh, our use effect not running. And an interesting observation, you could see that we are actually kind of crashing this interval. And the reason for that is you're going to see that every time the component re-renders, the set interval is called again and again and again, right? It does not clear itself. So how do we do that? Well, what we could do is we could actually throw this set interval itself is in, in an effect, right? So let's say I have an effect something like this. And what I want to do is I want to clean up whenever this function is remounted, right? So I have, this is a, I could say this is a function cleanup, right? So the cleanup function, function runs whenever a new, whenever use effect is going to call this function again, right? So how do you think about this? Well, think about this in this way. Um, we're going to, we're going to call this function on every render, right? And on the next render, what would happen is React would call the cleanup of the previous function. So how do I demonstrate that? Let me just see. All right, let's actually, let's just get rid of this for now. And what I'm going to do is introduce a callback function here and say that cleanup was fired with value equal to counter right and our counter value is just logged here and i'm gonna get rid of this right so hit save and now if you go ahead and see what we'll see is that if i click on this you're gonna see that cleanup was actually fired with a value of zero but you see that we actually have a value of one in our counter right you can see it's always lagging behind by one now the reason for that is that on the second render, let me just hop in here again. On the first one, that is the mount. That is the mount, right? You have nothing to clean up because everything is getting initialized, right? For the first time, React is calling this function for the first time. Everything is happening first time. On the, I click P tag. Now on the second one, that is re-render. Re-render. What happens is use state becomes one. That is, that is one. Uh, use effect does a dependency check sees that use effect does a dependency check and sees that zero is not equal to one right because you see it's going to compare the previous counter with the current counter value and it sees that counter has changed well yeah so what's going to do is actually before running this new function what it would do is tell react to run any cleanup function of the older component version, or I should say like older effect, right? So before running this, what happens is React runs the cleanup, that is this return part of the previous effect, right? In which this counter was one. So now essentially you could think that we have, we have kind of like two versions of these, in one, we have zero, zero, right, as the initialized value. And this one, we have one and one, right? React is going to show the browser this one, but before showing it this one, that is before actually executing this code, which is with counter one, because see, it's const, so we can just replace it like that. It's one, it's zero is not equal to one, so this would run, right? So, 
because we have our an update here and react sees that yes we do have a cleanup in the previous effect we're going to run this cleanup so that is why when you click on this you're going to see the previous counter value in the console and not the next one right because react is running the cleanup of the previous the previous effect not the current one if you think about it it makes a lot of sense because um, you could actually clean up stuff from previous effect it wouldn't make sense to clean up stuff from the current effect right so in a nutshell to revise what we have done is that use effect would call this function every single time whenever you render whenever your component re-renders or it's unmounted right secondly what happens is that you can con you can control this effect of uh, calling this function every time by passing in a set of dependencies which you want to monitor you could see that if I pass in counter 2 in here what we're gonna see is that now although this increments but you're gonna see that the title bar does not uh, update because now react just expects that we are um, just observing counter 2 for this particular function right and since counter 2 does not update because we are doing nothing to update it therefore this effect is not called whenever this particular functional component gets re-rendered right and uh, yeah hence this return function this cleanup is also not done so yeah in a nutshell that is how um, use effect works and under the hood as well um, we have discussed how this works it just calls this function well on the surface we can actually just assume that how it works is that simple that it just calls this functions check this dependencies under the hood it does a little bit of more work of optimization and everything and stuff like that but uh, in a nutshell this is how use effect works so that would be all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one.